To Veterans Day, those who have served our country gathered today in Cedar Rapids for a new mission, the Veterans History Project. It asks veterans to share their stories of service, which are then published in the Library of Congress's digital archive. KCRG TV 9's Lacey Reeves was there when a veteran from Dubuque shared her story today. For somebody to think that um, my stories worthy of being told is a huge honor to me. Dawn Fleming is an Iowa National Guard veteran. She was asked to share her story as part of the Veterans History Project. On my 18th birthday, I was sworn into the Iowa Army National Guard. Wow. Fleming was deployed in Afghanistan for a year. Taking care of my guys. I was a cook, so I always <laughs> wanted to make sure that they did a good show. Um, but when I was out with them out in the fields, it was just building that camaraderie. It was the best experience ever. But Fleming wasn't always stuck in the kitchen. I'd cook in the morning and go out with the guys. Wow into villages and stuff like that during the afternoons. Today, Fleming serves as a military and veterans coordinator at Northeast Iowa Community College. One of the things that I pride on is knowing that um, I'm a veteran, so mm -hmm. I kind of understand what they're going through. Yeah, right. And so I, I, I love my job, what I do now. <laughs> she also created a nonprofit called Tri-State Women Warriors, a group to support women's vets. Female veterans are here. We did jobs. Mm -hmm. We did jobs that you wouldn't think that we normally would do, mm -hmm. and we want you to be seen. A recollection of stories from Iowa's veterans. In Cedar Rapids, Lacey Reeves, KCRG TV9 News.